heart grow fonder. In the case of Sarah Blessing, her return has been met with a cold indifference. Moving into a new apartment, she feels like a stranger to her boyfriend of five years. Needing answers as to his change in temperature, Sarah needs help to forecast her future. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. I work for a bank. Um, the corporate office is in San Francisco, so I had, to, I had to be there for about six months. I mean, I came home every once in a while, and he would come up and visit me. Um, but that distance did not help things. I can't put my finger on it. It's just his energy was different. It was like a shift in his energy, in his presence. When he was there, he checked his phone a lot. He had a lot of text messages, and he said he was getting busy with work. Um, the last month I was there, he moved us. I was furious. Um, I loved our apartment. We loved our neighbors. We lo I mean, it's, why, why would he do that? You know, he just, he doesn't want to be around me. He doesn't want to be in the same room with me. Um, he bitches at me all the time about mundane stuff and chores and things. And it's like, we're just not quite connecting. Um, things that he would have talked to me about before, he doesn't. He goes out, I don't know where he goes. Um, when he gets a text, it's like he turns his phone a little bit. I mean, I'm not looking, but I can see out of the corner. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can see out of the corner of your eye when someone's trying to keep you from seeing something. You know, my whole life is him. My whole world is him. If I didn't take the super promotion, I wouldn't have I had to go to training for six months, and this never would have happened. I, I just blame myself a lot. I blame myself a lot. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. David Montgomery, age 31. An educator suspected of passing more than knowledge to another woman. Investigation day two. With little to go on as to the day-to-day -day activities of the suspect, investigators set up a perimeter around his workplace. As the workday ends, the suspect, David Montgomery, walks to his truck and departs. Detectives know that Sarah will be working at least until 8, leaving Montgomery with plenty of time alone. After an hour inside his apartment unit, he's spotted taking out some trash and heads to the parking garage. He opens his truck and appears to be waiting. Whom he's waiting for is answered when an unknown female appears and saunters up next to him. The conversation is brief, but when the exchange is showed to body language experts, the signals for attraction are as clear as a kiss. The two say a goodbye to one another and the female departs in her car. Investigation day three. Investigators expect little action since Sarah arrived home an hour earlier. When Montgomery, texting on his phone, appears, due diligence is expected, and mobile units start to tail the suspect. He pulls into a grocery store and enters. Ground units follow, and with a microcam fitted into a shopping cart, begin to surreptitiously shadow the suspect through the frozen food aisle. Montgomery's melancholy movements through the store are brightened when the female neighbor from earlier surveillance, whose identity remains withheld, arrives. His effervescent friend starts picking through his items and enjoys embarrassing him when she lifts up a package of feminine hygiene products. The two then wander the rest of the store together before making it to the register and checking out. By their cars, Montgomery deposits his bags in his truck and follows his friendly neighbor to the rear of the establishment. Things appear to heat up in the back seat, while in Montgomery's abandoned truck, the ice cream melts. For 15 minutes, the pair roll around before they finally emerge from the steamy cab and return home for the evening. Investigation Day 4. Units on duty spy the suspect leaving late from work and entering his vehicle. He heads to happy hour at a nearby watering hole, and he meets the same woman from previous days and settles down for a drink. She appears to have been waiting for quite some time, as Montgomery has to help her walk across the parking lot to their cars. A background check on the companion reveals that she is married and has been living at the complex for two years. After parking, Montgomery's neighbor walks into the complex alone. He, on the phone, enters a few minutes later and continues his conversation outside of the apartment door. Hello. Hey, 
Sarah's boyfriend and her married neighbor have a raucous roll in the hay, inadvertently knocking over a glass of wine. Like a good neighbor, the companion cleans up the spill as best she can before Montgomery returns with a towel. He sets the dry cloth over the wet spot, and the two continue where they left off. With all the evidence they need, investigators discontinue the remote feed and start proceedings for Sarah's enlightenment. Coming up, the confrontation. Exposing the malevolent affair, Cheaters remits details of the investigation to Sarah. Fighting back her fears, Sarah remains focused on the task at hand. Sarah, thank you for making yourself available for us this afternoon. I know that you've had some recent concerns in your relationship with David. Mm -hmm. And our detectives do have some information okay. that they thought it'd be very important for you to see. Okay. Sarah, as we began our investigation, we had detectives outside of David's place of employment. He comes home. Our detective stayed outside in the hallway. You weren't home right now. He exits your apartment, goes down into the parking garage. That's the cat lady. Like, she has, like, four cats. We make fun of her. And obviously, you know who that woman is. On this evening, David leaves your apartment, goes to the grocery store, and after a while, he's joined <laughs> by the same woman that we've captured him in the parking lot with. So stupid. They follow one another to the back of the store. Oh my god. They have an exceptionally brief encounter, but I don't think I need to explain it. The other day, he said he was going to the grocery store, and um, this is embarrassing, but I, I asked him to get me um, ice cream and tampons. And when he came back, the ice cream was melted. On this evening, we again followed David as he left his place of employment. He stops off at a bar, goes inside. Smile at him. And meets the same young lady. They follow one another back to the apartment complex. We had you place some hidden cameras inside of your apartment. He this jumps in the shower. My house. And there evidently is a knock on the door. And this is the exchange that took place. I don't look anymore. She's disgusting. We know that at this moment, David is at your apartment, and this young lady is there as well. I know this is difficult. I know it's an emotional time. Are you prepared to find out directly from David why he chose this path as far as your relationship's concerned? Oh, yeah, I am. You come with me. We'll call the detective from the van and find out if there's been any movement at all, okay? okay. Yeah. You still there? Oh, yeah, no, they're still here. Uh, they're I still there? Something. He's got someone on the floor watching the door. Okay, and you're outside. All right. We're on the move right now. We'll probably see you in a couple minutes. We have a detective that's going to wait right there for us, okay? He's going to let us in the gate. Back van, pull into the left. Turn left and pull into that parking spot right there. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Coming up, the conclusion.
David is at your apartment, and this young lady is there as well. What the? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you? The f are you? It's a damn cat lady. What the f is wrong with you? I don't know. Oh, is that what she likes? She like cat lady likes the fish. Jesus Christ! What is wrong with you? We just let go. You in here? Are you in here? What? What the? What? What the? F are you? What? Watch his own P's and Q's while mom is out of town. You know what? You know what? You, you, you are so damn stupid. My daddy was right. Are you gonna hit me? Hit me. Be a man. Man up for once, you stupid bitch. Be something. I wanna get my. I wanna get my damn chair. You're a loser. You're a loser. Give me my chair. Somebody get my. Damn chair! Security, security. Yeah. We'll get that chair out. We'll, we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. Okay. We'll take care of it. We may have to come back for it, okay? Let's get you out of here. Oh, my fish pillow. I want the fish pillow. Oh, my Can you grab the fish pillow? I want my fish pillow. And I don't want you on my fish pillow. Get the fish pillow. Get your shoes. Is it really? This is it. You're just gonna leave. Right. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna look at this. Stop. We can work this out. We can work through these things. Why? Why did you talk to me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you so Stop. Stop. Hey. 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 Come on. Stop. Stop this. It's not worth this. We can work. We can talk. Look, How? You're right. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I should have talked to you. I should have talked to you. What were you going to say when you talked to me? That no, you don't I love no, me? No, no, no. That you no. want a new hole? No, no. That I, sh I should have talked to you before any of this ever started. Yeah, you should have. I should have. I should have. I should have spoke up. I, I should have no, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't be around you anymore. I can't be around you anymore. <laughs> Someone grab her computer. We got her pillow. I know. I... Just want to talk. I understand. No, hey, trust me, please. I understand. I understand. 
This is not right now. I'm exhausted. I'm, right, I'm right. exhausted. I have worked all day. Okay. This is what you do when I work. I have a meeting tomorrow morning. That's all I have. I don't have any more tears. I can't even cry. He took everything from me, even my tears. For marriage. But first, Tammy Everson discusses the changes in the routine of her relationship. Distressed by the red flags raised by her boyfriend, Tammy comes to cheaters to quell her fears. He went to work every morning and he comes home. I have dinner ready. We watch movies, me, him, and the kids. And we just have family moments. But just recently, he went to jail. After he went to jail, everything changed. He don't come home. You know, he won't answer his phone. He stays out late at night. I ask him questions. He won't give me an answer. Anthony, age 45 a construction worker accused of deconstructing his relationship with the mother of his children. Cheaters deploys a squad of operatives to surveil the home the suspect shares with Tammy. The suspect, known only as Anthony, leaves the home. Cheaters detectives follow the suspect and watch covertly as he arrives at an attorney's office. After concluding his business, Anthony goes on the move. The suspect drives to an unknown residence where an unfamiliar female gets into his car. When we had Anthony Jr., it, he was the love of his life. He was, you know, when I want, you know, when he cries, I would get up. He was like, no, I got him. But now, he don't spend any time with him. He used to go to his football games. He don't even go to the football games anymore. And our daughter, you know, she loves her dad, but he don't want to be bothered with her. You know, go to your mom. It's like the kid's getting on his nerve, every little noise, everything they do. And then he, he runs out, he, just, he leaves. And then the kids, they're like, why daddy acting like this? And I just tell him, maybe he's tired from work. You know, maybe he had a hard day. After some time, Anthony and his friend get out of the vehicle. The suspect and his mystery woman playfully clutch at each other as they cross the street. The pair shares a few illicit kisses by a fence near the street. Sometime later, the suspect escorts his other woman to her doorstep. Cheaters detectives note the passionate kisses the suspect gives his date. Having said goodbye, Anthony heads back to his car for the ride home to a suspicious Tammy. And if I catch him cheating on me, I'm taking the kids and I'm leaving. No, I'm not leaving. That's my mother's house. I built that and I, that's my... He's going to get his mother's ass out. I ain't going no more well. I deserve better, and my kids deserve better. Cheaters detectives stick to the home the suspect shares with Tammy. At some point during the day, Anthony leaves the residence. As do bloodhounds, cheaters investigators follow the suspect as he drives back to the residence he visited a few nights past. The woman, now identified as Nikki Smith, joins the suspect in his car. Anthony takes off and drives to the attorney's office. Smith waits by the vehicle as Anthony visits his attorney. A short while later, the suspect returns. Smith gives Anthony a huge returning kiss as though she hasn't seen him in days. The suspect and his paramour get into the car. Cheaters agents follow the pair back to Smith's home. Anthony spends some time kissing his companion. Eventually, Smith leaves her cheating honey. Anthony drives home to Tammy. Recognizing a routine, cheaters investigators continue to stake out the residence the suspect shares with Tammy. As usual, Anthony appears, hops into his car, and then drives away. 
The suspect arrives at Smith's residence. As is also usual, Smith awaits the suspect. The young lady gets into Anthony's car. The pair drives to a neighborhood sandwich shop. The suspect holds Smith's hand as they walk into the joint. A short time later, the adulterous pair leaves the shop with their takeout. Anthony and Smith get back into the car. Clueless of the cheaters operators that shadow them, the suspect and his lunch date drive directly back to Smith's residence. Anthony grabs his companion's hand to lead her across the street to a nearby park. The suspect finds a park table to sit and eat. However, Anthony spends more time handling his date than he does his food. After the aperitif of mother's milk, Anthony attacks his meal. Sometime later, with her arms wrapped lovingly around each other, the terrible two walk back to Smith's residence. Anthony joins Smith inside. After a long period of time, the suspect emerges alone. As Anthony leaves to go home, cheaters agents leave to place a call to a disheartened Tammy. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Tammy's suspicions reach reality, Cheaters calls to arrange a briefing. With butterflies in her stomach, Tammy preps herself for the worst possible news. Tammy, the first thing I'd like to say is thank you for coming out this evening. We have conducted our investigation. Before I show you what we have come up with, I want to forewarn you because some of the things I'm about to show you can upset you. The main reason I'm showing them to you is because it's to get you the truth of what's going on between your relationship with Anthony. You live with this man. You have children with this man, so you need to know what this man is doing. Right. All right? Yes. You're prepared to see? Yes. All right. Tammy, we start our investigation outside of the residence you share with Anthony. A few moments later, we see Anthony walk out. He goes across the street, and he gets into his vehicle. As our detectives follow Anthony, he arrives at his attorney's office. Sometime later, he leaves his attorney's office, and then he arrives at this unknown residence where a woman gets in the car as he stops. She gets in the vehicle, they exchange a few words. What the Then they get out together, walk across the street, and go to a park. You see his arm around her? Well, he sits down, and she begins to get all over your man, touching him, kissing him. They then hold hands, walk away from the park. He walks her to her front door where they kiss. Are you serious? Multiple times, I'm dead serious. Your boy Anthony then walks away, gets back into his vehicle, and leaves. Really? Really, Anthony? This mother got too much free time on his hands. Continuing on with our investigation, Tammy, and say we're outside of the residence that you and Anthony share. We see Anthony emerge. He walks over to his vehicle, and he gets in. As he leaves your house, our detectives follow him, and he arrives at that same residence from the previous day. A big nasty bitch. They drive away, and they arrive at his attorney's office together. A short time later, he comes out of his attorney's office. She's waiting on the bumper of his car. I'm gonna f him up. And they kiss. That's when we see the two of them get in the vehicle. And before he can start the car, Tammy, he receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Tell me if you can remember Anthony talking to you on this day. Blame you. He just said, I love you to you. Not only that, taking your money. That was your $500? Yes, that's my money. Okay, well, he took your money to that attorney's office with this female. After finishing up the phone call, completely lying to you, I did see him step out of the vehicle, so she may not know, but still, it doesn't matter. They return to her residence. We see them kissing in the vehicle multiple times. What the Before she then steps out, fixes her shirt, and walks back up to her residence. With everything that you've just seen here, I mean, how are you even feeling about this man, this gentleman that Hurt. you just bailed out in a sense? Correct I me if I'm wrong. Uh, 
I'm feeling some type of way right about now. Why don't we go ahead and get on the road, call Tex Gomez, give me a location. They're together somewhere. We just need to get that location. Once we do, we're on them. Are Let's you ready? This way, please. Gomez, what's good, man? They're at Atlas Bail Bonds? All right, we'll be there ASAP. Reunion and Riverfront Drive. Thanks, see you soon, bye. They're together right now. They're, really? yeah, they're at a bail bonds place. We get there quick enough, we can catch them together, but yes, he's got eyes on them. That's our location right there, Atlas Bail Bonds. All right, let's just roll up and get out. Man, he's got a lot of nerve. We're about to see what those feel like. You ready? Yes, I am. All right, Tammy, let's go. There's Detective Gomez right there. Right here. Right there. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. What the is going on? Who in the is this? What the is you doing? What the is you doing? Hey, what's Anthony, what's going on, what man? What the is you doing? Coming up next, the conclusion. They're together right now. They're, really? Yeah, they're at a bail bonds place. What the is going on? What the f you doing? So, Anthony, what's going on, what man? What is you doing? Anthony. And on the f you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you know who this is? This is my girl. Who is this? This is my girl. Yo, brother, are you crazy? What the f Anthony, why are you stumbling all over the place, man? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Anthony, you don't have nothing to say about this? You know he's been with her for 14 years and has two children, right? Oh, 14 years. 14 years. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this what you want, Anthony? This is how you my that money? That $500 to your bail bondsman, to your attorney? This how you, that's how you do me and the kids? Yeah. Yeah, bitch! That's all you have to say is, yeah, you don't even want to apologize to or anything? Bitch! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You've been with her for 14 years. You have two nah. children. Bitch. Why don't we take this? Why don't we take this outside? Bitch, I wish you would. What's going on, Anthony? Let me talk. Anthony? Can I talk to you for I a second, you Anthony? Said, are you gonna pay for my? Ticket? I got you, man. Just chill out. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Anthony, where are you going? I see I'm, where you, you going? Are you gonna pay for my tickets, Anthony? Huh? I need I you for my. Where are you going? What about my tickets? Where are you going? Where the f you going, Anthony? Anthony, where are you gonna run to, man? Where are you running to? This guy the mother way, ho. Security pulling apart. Watch this rebar. Watch that rebar. Bitch, bring your bitch ass back here. Anthony, where are you running to? Bring your bitch ass back here. We just want to talk to you for a I second. I got something for your bitch no, ass. No, 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 no. Why are you running from the truth? Here, it's, dude. Your girl's over there, just talk to me. Oh, what happened? What happened? What you doing? If he stops, will you talk to him? Get out of my face! What the f going on? Hey, I know you, Listen, she hired us because when you got out of jail, Anthony, there was some stuff going on. You weren't talking to her, you weren't talking to the kids. What happened? Did you make a mistake? I mean, I have multiple days of you, of you hanging out with this other woman. Who is that girl? I mean... I just met her out of jail. So what, what about her? 14 years? Two children? You want to throw all that away? Baby? You don't pay me no I ain't attention? enough for you? You have nothing else to say. Just calm down, I mean. This is the person who got you out of jail. I'm sorry, baby. What are you sorry for? Calm down. Get the hair off. Why's my mother hair? I got it. Damn. I got it. She says she visited you every single day that you were incarcerated, even brought the kids, man. And this is how you're gonna pay, you know, repay her for all that? 14 years, it's a long time. Somebody long better time. get that bitch a ride, cause she's not getting a mother call with my man. He gonna pay my mother tickets. 
Now, somebody better get that bitch a ride, because she ain't getting in the car with you. Get in the car with who? Yeah, now, you he ain't get in the car, car with me. him. Yeah, he now, get in the car with me. Now, Anthony, yeah. what the f you gonna do? What the f you gonna do, Anthony? You said you gonna pay my mother. Did somebody hit my mother, mother man? Have you lost some mother? You mean I'm hit on your man? What you mean I'm hit on my man? What you mean I'm hit on your man? Somebody better get that bitch a ride, cause she, she's not getting that car. That's all it is to it. She ain't getting in that car. What you gonna do? You said you gonna pay my ticket. What you gonna do? You gonna take out my? I got you, baby. Anthony. Anthony, you come here, Anthony. Mm. Anthony ain't going no more. Anthony ain't going no. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a second? Anthony ain't going no more. Anthony, come here. Anthony, come over here. Anthony, come here. You're gonna be a man, or are you just gonna walk away? Hell yeah, yeah, he gonna what walk away. What about the kids? You got two kids, he man. What about the kids? Boss, bitch. Come bitch, here. Nice Anthony. Anthony, come here. There's people in the right now. We're gonna... Somebody take me home. All right, you wanna get out of here? Yes. Pay my damn tickets. I ain't trying to be wanted. He told me he gonna help me. Let's go. Anthony, you just gonna run away? Hell yeah. Anthony, will you just talk to her for no, a second? He ain't got time to talk. I'm not talking to you, he Nikki. I'm talking to Anthony. Talk to hey, shut the up, ho! He ain't going to talk to her. Yeah, we you just say, You want to say one last word before he leaves? Let's go. Let's go. Load up. Let's load up. Load up. Hey, watch out. There you go. You OK? Yes. Tammy, that man back there can't be the man that you fell in love with. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's not. He's it's not, not the man that I fell in love with. So there's. Coming up next. to kill me. Changes your perspective. Paycheck. Updating plugins. 